Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabby and today I have a brand new tag video for you. So, here on YouTube, probably you already saw, everyone is doing this tag, uh, top 10 most unique perfumes, the Cara, the Cara Thompson here on YouTube, she tagged me to do this video. So, here we are, my top 10 most unique perfumes in my entire collection. I have to be super honest with you, it was very hard because unique can be different yes but also needs to be something pleasant because i have some unique perfumes that i absolutely hate and but they're unique but i didn't want to show that to you uh some perfumes in here that are very unique it's nothing else that smells like but lots of people are wearing them so we have a little bit of both we have very unique perfumes that actually people are wearing them lots of people are wearing them and we have also unique perfumes that not so many people are talking about so let's jump in but before if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and that's it let's get started we have 10 perfumes and one honorable mention i had to include this one is discontinued but i just had to include this one and i'm talking about armani code satin this if you if you are here for a while you already know this is one of my favorite perfumes this is absolutely stunning it's it's a dark deep vanilla with some chocolate with oh it's so good it's so 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 good very similar to the cashmere not so similar to the original it, it has that dna but it's it's so different i've tried so hard to find a dupe for this one and it's impossible this one is discontinued Cashmere is discontinued, so I really don't know what to do. But yeah, this one is just an honorable mention. It's it's unique. It's different from a lot of perfumes that I have here in my collection, but it's discontinued. Why is this discontinued? Why are you discontinued? Anyway, let's move on. Honorable mention, Armani uh, Code Satin. Then we have... It's not any particular order, they're just 10 perfumes. We have one that I just hold, Ansolence by Guerlain. This is the Eau de Toilette. This smell like, it smells like candied violets. Like everyone is saying, very powdery. I know that everyone here on YouTube got this one because uh, Gabriela Francesca, she said that this one smells like fairy dust. And yeah, she was right. This one smells like fairy dust it makes no sense i know but once you smell this you're gonna understand it's good it's good good it's very unique it's very different it's a little bit mature it is mature i have to say but it's it's stunning it lasts very long it projects very well Gerla perfumes are just amazing in my opinion <sighs> it's not for everyone i have to say that it's not for everyone I think it's more like 30 plus i'm 24 and i'm wearing this and i'm enjoying this so there's no age but for someone that's not that into perfumes that not is not that crazy maybe this one would be a little bit too much but it's just it's very elegant it's very sophisticated it's a little bit dark it's it, it's it's good good it's very different. Definitely, once you smell this one, you know that this one is Guerlain Ansolence. I've never tested the Eau de Parfum, so I know how different they are. But the Eau de Toilette, you're going to remember this. Once you smell this, you're going to remember it. So yeah, Ansolence Eau de Toilette by Guerlain. Next we have, also from Guerlain, La Petite Rome Noir. This is the Eau de Parfum, just the original. I really like this one. This smells like sour cherry and licorice. Imagine if you have a cocktail and an alcoholic cocktail with sour cherry. This is how it's gonna smell. It's very cold, it's a very cold scent. It's sweet, but not too sweet. It's a little bit watery. It's like, you can smell the alcohol in it, but it's a pleasant alcohol with sour cherry. It's very different don't have anything like this never smell something like this lasting power is good siage is good 
it's it's a beautiful beautiful scent the bottle it's very beautiful i really enjoy this one i have to say i really really enjoy this one and it's different so yeah la petit robe noir the eau de parfum by Yerla. then we have oh forgot to tell you i also have in this video two perfumes brand new that i just got and probably i'm gonna feature them in my next haul so we have the famous alien by mugler i know i know i know i said i will never buy alien because it's not really my vibe but i bought it and i have to say i really like it now i said i'm not listen, i'm not biggest fan it's not my favorite i prefer um, or Sublime, or Essence Absolute, blah blah blah, yes, I still prefer Essence Absolute, but this, it's just, but the spray is just, like, the spray is not the best, okay, okay, I really like this one, okay, fine, fine, you got me, I got this one basically because everyone here on YouTube is talking about this, my subscribers told me just try it again try it again try it again and this is what i did and yeah i really like this one come on guys alien it's alien once you smell it you'll never forget it it's it's this like dark jasmine a little bit soapy it's 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 a very nice perfume i have to say even though i wasn't the biggest fan now i'm starting to be yeah i am I am Alien's fan now, I have to say. Uh, lots of people really like this one. I've heard that lots of men really like this one and I don't really understand why because usually men like very, very sweet perfumes and this one is not a sweet perfume. It's a very strong, uh, strong woman, but like a very, you have to have a strong personality to wear this one, in my opinion. It's not necessarily a daytime, it's like nighttime, fall, winter. I'm gonna do a full review in my next haul. But yeah, this is very unique perfume. Lots of people are wearing this. Yes, that's true. But itself, it's a very unique perfume. So yeah, Alien by Mugler. Then we have by Mugler, Angel Muse, the Eau de Parfum. This, this, it's half patchouli, half chocolate and hazelnut. It's, it's very different. It has the same, it smells very similar to the Eau de Toilette, but again, it's still Angel Muse. It doesn't smell like any other perfumes. But that one is more like fruity, has that passion fruit. This one, no, this one is like chocolate, hazelnut with patchouli. It's, it's beast mode, it's very loud, it's intoxicating. It's something that once you smell it, you, you know how, how this one smells like. It's, it's good, good. I really like this one when I first tested then I bought it I didn't like it and I like it again then I didn't like it again it's a very hard perfume I in my opinion it's not everyone's cup of tea but once you get used to it it's it's very good not for the summertime nighttime fall winter definitely it's it's stunning and it's a beast mode like you spray this one and you're gonna smell it 20 hours later it's just it's crazy so yeah Angel Muse the Eau de Parfum. Next we have um, Hypnotic Poison by Dior, the Eau de Toilette. This, even though again same thing as Angel, uh, not Angel, Alien. Lots of people are wearing this, but it's just that good. It's that creamy vanilla that smells like. Mm, it smells so good. It's creamy vanilla and almond and. It's a little bit musky on me. I have to say, I'm not sure if this one has musk, but I'm getting some musk in it. It's it's stunning, honestly. This one, it's very seductive, very... Un like like the bottle. Look at the bottle. Like It's a poison. Like Once you once you, you smell this one and you're wearing this one, you're, you're hooked. You're, you need this in your life. Like, no, you can't go back. You can't be like, oh, I don't want him. No. If you like this one, if you test it and you like this one, you're definitely going to buy it because it's just, it's that good. So yeah, really nice perfume, Hypnotic Poison, the Old Toilet by Dior. Not very nice, amazing perfume. So yeah, really, really like this one and very unique in the smell. 
Then we have something that not so many people are talking about. It's Olympia Legend by Paco Rabanne. This, this one again, it's a love of hate. It has the original DNA, but it's extremely, extremely sweet and extremely salty. It's like you, you mix the sweetest vanilla that you have and you add lots of salt in it. It's very different, very unique. Beast mode, but it doesn't last. It's beast mode, but for some reason it doesn't last. But yeah, I don't know how many people are gonna like this. I do like this. I have to be in the mood, I have to be honest. I have to be in the mood for this one. But this, it, it, it's good. It's a nice one, it's very different. I know that the original Olympia, the um, aqua one and the intense one, they, they're kind of similar. This one still has the same DNA, but itself it's a unique fragrance so yeah olympia legend by paco rabane then we have then we have mark jacobs decadence come on you already knew that this one's going to be here this it's a weird perfume i have to say it's very sweet and it's very green in the same time it has a plum note in the opening it has vetiver not sure if it has vanilla, I'm definitely, this one needs to have some vanilla in it. It's very sweet vanilla and green in the same time. I do prefer this one way, way better than Aura by Mugler. That one has the same vibe, but let's just say that this one is a little bit more well blended. In that one, you're getting vanilla here, greenness here. These are kind of blended, blended together. But it's still a very unique scent, very strong for, again, a bossy lady. It's not for your typical girl next door, no, this one is like a boss lady. Really like this one. Not everyone's cup of tea, again, but this is, this is it with uh, unique fragrances. That's why they're unique, because not everyone's gonna like them. But yeah. Decadence by Marc Jacobs, really like this one. Then we have another one that I'm gonna feature in my next haul, Amethyst by Lalique. So this, this, guys, everyone was talking about this. Some people are saying that it's very green. Some, some people are saying that it's very fruity, it's very jammy. Some people were saying actually that this one is very old school, it's very vintagey. Maria, obviously, it's MJ here on YouTube, got this one and she said that this smells like a berry iced tea, but the tea still has um, the leaves in it, like the berries, not the tea, the berries still has the leaves, and I have to agree with that. Like she put in her video, she put a picture of the drink that she was talking about, and this one smells exactly like that. I'm going to put like a picture of something similar. It's, it's, it's different. I don't have anything like this. I don't have anything like this. I, I don't get any, vin any like old school vibes. It's green, yeah, but it's not very green, like some people were saying. And it's fruity, but it's not jammy. It's just different. It's refreshing. I don't know why I got this one in September. It makes no sense because it's, this one is more like a summer, nighttime summer scent. But I really like this one. And it's different. It's different. I don't have anything that smells like this. Uh, the last thing probably is not the best. The CH, it's alright. But it's cheap. And yeah, I, I really enjoy this one. It doesn't smell like anything else. So yeah, Amethyst by Lalique. Last two perfumes. Crystal Noir by Versace, the Eau de Toilette. This, it's a level hate. Okay. I really like this one. It's a dark, very, very cold, spicy, woody, coconutty, earthy. It has just a little bit of everything. It's very hard to describe. I think this perfume is a perfume that actually, I, I don't know how to describe this. You have to go and smell it. And again, this one for me, the Eau de Toilette and the Eau de Parfum, they smell exactly the same. Just the Eau de Parfum lasts a little bit longer, but for me, the Eau de Toilette projects better, so... I got the old toilet because it was also cheaper. I really like this one. It's it's a dark, 
It's a dark summer perfume. Very cold, refreshing, but also spicy. It's, it's very different. So yeah, you definitely need to try this one before you blind buy. Don't blind buy this one. It might be not your vibe. But I really, I really enjoy this perfume. So yeah, Versace. Uh, Crystal Noir by Versace, obviously. And the last one we have by Mezzo Margiela by The Fireplace. This, this smells exactly like the name. This one smells like, come on, spray. Okay. Oh my God. This one smells like you are next to a fireplace. It says here, burning wood and chestnut this is how it smells and then the dry down you're getting this uh, very creamy woody vanilla it's just stunning this one it's a winter scent 100 percent it lasts forever on the skin it projects the projection is just amazing it's it's stunning guys not a safe blind buy you have you have to test this one before because it's actually smells like something is burning but it's just, it's amazing. It's very unique. It's very amazing. Even though um, lots of people are talking about this on YouTube, I've actually never smelled this one on, on someone. So I don't think so many people are wearing this yet, maybe because they're just afraid of it, because it's a very loud and a very different scent. But yeah, I really, really enjoy this one. And this one was the last one. Mezzo Margiela by The Fireplace. And those were my top 10 most unique perfumes in my collection. Please let me know in the comments down below what perfumes you consider unique. And I have to tag someone now. Who am I gonna tag? Who, 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 who? Melissa Jean. Okay. Uh, Ollie's mom. I'm not sure if she did this video. I'm not sure. But I'm gonna tag Ollie's mom and maria it's mj again i'm not i don't think she did this video but i'm gonna tag her anyway so yeah that was it for today guys thank you so much for watching and don't forget like this video subscribe and i will see you in my next one Bye bye